if you want to make a file online, a web page for instance, then there are several options. One of these is Dropbox from www.dropbox.com. This is not an advertisement for Dropbox. There are several other utilities and similar services available in the internet. This is just the one that we will use in this example. Dropbox.com offers you several functions. One of these can be used for making files online so they can be accessed from any web browser. I am now gone to www.dropbox.com and my first action is to click download Dropbox. I will simply say run and the application is downloading. I again say yes I want to run this software and I'll now come to the welcome to Dropbox setup. I click install The next uh, place to do something is the welcome menu, welcome to Dropbox. In this case I want to set up a new account so I choose I don't have a Dropbox account and click next. My first name Kent Anderson my email webmaster at FAZ.DK I will type in a password the computer name has been found automatically I agree to the terms of service there and click next I get two gigabytes of free space in Dropbox so I click next and it tells me that your Dropbox is a special folder on your computer simply drop in files and they will instantly be available on any of your other computers and the web and this is what is interesting I click next and I click next I click next It also shows me that I can share folders with people you know. This is not what I want right now. I add a shortcut to Dropbox on my desktop. The software has made a folder in my documents called My Dropbox. And this is where I can put in files that will become available on the internet. At some point, your antivirus program or your firewall may ask you if you will allow this service or this server to run. You need to accept that, otherwise Dropbox doesn't work. In the Dropbox folder, I can see that there is a file called Getting Started. This is the one that I can open and read about Dropbox and what it offers me. There is a folder called Photos where I can put in photos that I want to share with other people and there is a very important folder for this purpose called public. Whatever I put into that folder will automatically be available on the internet. So my next action is to click on the public folder to see what it has. There is a Word document there that shows how to use the public folder. So what I'll do now is I will click on the file and learn how to use the public folder. I copy all the text, right click it, copy, as a demonstration I have started my text blender, I select English as the language, go to the overview, I decide I don't want any media to play. I check the instructions. I will just type in the Dropbox address, 
dropbox.com so when I click next that is where it will go to main content I want to have a block of text I paste in the text that I copied from Word I click finish I check the dictionary I want it from English to English you can then change it to your own language later and I decide to export I want to save my work and I need to find my my documents and in my documents I find my Dropbox the folder and in my Dropbox I click on public and click save so I have now exported my version of toolbook with my settings the next step is to say and now for the web page where I click OK and I want to save it in the public folder again I need to give it a name so I just call it first dot htm and click OK the file has now been saved to the selected Dropbox public area and is now ready to be opened with your internet browser. I click OK. And the folder My Dropbox Public now has three files. How to use the public folder, that was the Word document. The tb2.tbk, that is the text blender. And first.htm, which is the actual web page that I have created. My next step is to highlight in the first.htm. I right click it and I can see that there is now a Dropbox menu. There are three options. Browse on Dropbox website. View previous versions. Copy public link can be important for us. So I click on that when I paste that address, I can see the address is http colon slash slash dl dot dropbox dot com slash u slash and then the numbers four three nine one seven nine zero slash first dot htm. The first part is actually the address to my Dropbox folder. In this case, this is the file that I saved with the text blender. I have now pasted in the copied address into the Internet Explorer and I click Enter. And this is the page that I just created with the text blender and it is now available online on the Internet through Dropbox. I can click on any word and it will work and look it up in a dictionary. When I click the next button, it will take me to the Dropbox main website. All you need to remember is that anything you save in your public folder will automatically be uploaded by Dropbox and be available on the internet. In this case, as you remember, the file was called first.htm. If that file linked to another file called next.htm, then it should be saved just as next.htm in the public folder and it will work. 